close your eyes. Take a couple of good long, deep in and out breaths, and notice where you feel the sensation of breathing. Try to get your attention to stay there, even though there are other things going on right now. There's the sound of the birds, the sound of the planes, the sound of the Dharma talk. Place your main attention right at the breath. Those other things don't destroy the breath, it's still there. It's just that the mind has this tendency to try to catch everything that they can sense, everything it can hear and see. They're running around all the time. And then as a result, it never gets a chance to rest. So give it a chance to rest. As for the rest of the world right now, say, that's not my responsibility. Let your hands relax, let your feet relax, let your mind relax into the present moment. Notice what kind of breathing feels good. You can change the breathing so that it's comfortable. If long breathing is comfortable, you can stick with it. If it's not, you can change. You can try shorter, faster, slower, heavier, lighter, deeper, more shallow. Take an interest in the breath right now. Because we can't wait for the rest of the world to get into good shape before we practice. We have to practice develop our minds in the midst of an imperfect world. We're trying to develop the perfections, with the perfections of generosity, the perfections of renunciation. It's interesting that concentration is not listed in the perfections, but it's, it's there implicitly in the quality of renunciation. In other words, you're not going to be fascinated with sight, sound, smells, tastes, tactile sensations. You're going to be fascinated with something else. But because the mind's fascination with other things is always ready to get excited, you want to take a real interest in what you're doing here with the breath. Try to catch the mind if it's going to leave the breath. Try to see what the warning signs are. And ask yourself, what would be a really comfortable breath right now? What would feel best for the body right now? Take an interest in the breath, because after all, it is the force of life. Without the breath, the body and the mind wouldn't be together, and who knows where you'd be. But because of the breath, you're right here, you're right now. So stay with the breath right here, right now, and get to know it really well. So you get more use out of it than just letting it come in and go out. You can let it come in in a way that bathes the body, that releases tension through the body, it helps improve the health of the body. And when the body is more comfortable, the mind has an easier time of staying here. So take an interest in this. And as for other things, they can be there in the world, but you don't have to get involved with them. Because as I said, this is a, an imperfect world we're living in. And all too many people say, well, I have to get this done and I have to get that done before I can train the mind. And usually what happens is they get too old or too sick, or they die before they have a chance to practice, because the world is never going to be perfect. So we're developing in, in an imperfect world, we're developing our perfections, which means that we have to take time every day to do this. We can't say, well, I'll finish the, the work at hand and then I'll meditate. You take time out of the work to make sure the med mind has a good place to stay and can take care of itself properly. Now, even though things around can be pretty bad, still the mind doesn't have to be bad in line with the mind has its own inner resources that it's developed. In fact, it's because the world out there is imperfect that we need to develop these resources. So we can't wait for everything to be done outside or everything to be taken care of outside. Just as when we're practicing, we can't wait for other people to practice first and be nice to us first, and then we'll be nice to them. We have to be nice first. We have to be good first, starting with goodness inside, and that starts with the mind. And the mind, to get trained, you have to have basic qualities like mindfulness and alertness, and this is what we're doing right now, being mindful to stay with the breath, in other words, remembering to stay here, and being alert to what's going on. As we develop these qualities, they can, they can take charge in other parts of our lives as well.